Hey folks, welcome back to Bite Size Booksmith. My name is Angie, and on this channel we discuss AI-assisted strategies and tools that you can use to plan, write, publish, and promote your books. Today we're going to be talking about what I call a sample codex, and I'm going to answer some questions that came in on how to use the first one, called Cypher Shadow. But before we dive in, I want to show you where you can go to get the sample codex if you don't have it already. After almost three full days of copywriting and design, I was finally able to get the first Bite Size Booksmith website up and running. I'm actually using a free tool called Payhip to host the site for now. So if you're interested in learning how to use this tool to build an e-commerce site of your own, let me know in the comments. From bitesizebooksmith.com, click on freebies, and it's right here. Click the Buy Now button and you'll be prompted to download a PDF. Click the link to go to the Notion document where the sample codex is found. So what is a sample codex and why did I create it? The purpose of the sample codex is to give you a starting point to either learn how Novelcrafter works or to help you get started outlining your project. You can take the outline, characters, and settings that I provided to write that story. You can also use the framework to help you build an outline for a completely different book. Either way, the result is the same. You get more comfortable in the codex and have the ability to start generating prose within Novelcrafter sooner. Another purpose of the sample codex is to show you how you can organize information in your codices. My way isn't the only way, but if you're struggling with the how, this can point you in the right direction. Iterate off of what I've provided and make it your own. Following the codex file, there is the exact prompts that I used to create the codex. And below that, you can see the scene beat prompt that I created to give me the context necessary for the AI to draft each scene along with scene beats. Take note that these scene beats will be on the slim side, so you're going to need to add additional context or your prose is going to be weak. It's easier than ever for you to share prompts with others. Simply click on the code, head to Novel Crafter, Go to the prompts page, click new, create from clipboard, and it will give you a copy of the prompt. I already have mine in here, so it's actually going to say copy. You will still need to copy and paste the user entry part of the prompt into chat to get the expected output. The last thing I want to mention is this link here to provide feedback on the Cypher Shadow sample codex. There are quite a few questions, but as a reward for your time, you can be entered into a giveaway to win one of five video consultations with me. Don't forget to answer the question to let me know which genres and subgenres you'd like to see next so I know which ones to make. That's all for this video, but watch out tomorrow because I'm going to be walking you step by step through the process of going from having only a framework to a book that is ready to write. I've never written a pulp noir crime thriller before, so it's definitely going to be fun. Happy writing, and I'll see you next time.